Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about finding uh, the balance in this film, because when I was watching it, I've seen it a couple of times now, and uh, the first time I saw it, I thought it had a really kind of interesting balance between a real kind of innocence of the time, but there was also kind of a, a sleazy aspect to it as well, mm -hmm. which really, to me, sums up the music of the time. And this the is, 70s, yeah. And the 70s. I mean, I was 15 in 1978 and listened to The Runaways and loved the music, and that kind of sleazy yet innocent thing is so hard to capture and define, but you've managed to do it here. Tell me a little bit about finding the balance. Yeah, it's kind of walking a fine line, isn't it? Sort of, um, you know, I wanted the picture very raw, but um, I, it was also about, you know, these young girls and how young they were and sort of innocent to this world um, before it kind of started. Like, I'm talking more about Cherie um, in that aspect where she starts off not, Say I'm not going to say that to becoming the yeah. cherry bomb, so that transformation. But um, but yeah, it was a it was a time of experimentation, you know, and that happens only I think when you're young. Mm -hmm. It's that time when well, you're I, trying to find your identity. And the innocence of it. I mean, I think part of what I was thinking when I thought of the innocence of it is now uh, you go out to a store and you spend a hundred bucks on a t-shirt with your favorite band's logo on it. Back then you made it. You made it. And, there and, were iron-ons and yeah. you would spray paint it and, and uh, Cherie made her belt buckle with the Bowie picture she cut out of a magazine and yeah. shellacked it in there. You know, it was a very uh, great time of personal identity. If you wanted to be something, you know, you wore, even in some of the um, club scenes, you know, kids wore garbage bags. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, what kind of research did you do um, for this to, to sort of nail the kind of place and time? Because I also think that Los Angeles had a very unique very kind of s very specific spin on it as well. Yeah, because you had the surfer culture in there and, um, and the valley culture in there. So there are all these things going on that um, in the East Coast. It's very different. But, um, yeah, I did a, I'd done a lot of research because I wrote it. I had been researching this for three years, so I compiled... Mm, thousands of um, visual images about them, you know, of them, but also about the music that was going on and what other things were going on, what the kids were wearing at the clubs and, and all that stuff. So when it came to shooting, I was, you know, kind of knew what I wanted to do. Because you, your, your trademark is as a visual artist, um, is that kind of how you think? I mean, it, it, you say you've collected thousands of images, and yeah. that, that, that sort of... Well, and articles, the, too, and articles, and articles yeah. and information. But, yeah, because it is a visual medium, you know, and um, I think you can say a lot of other layers with the visuals, you know. I mean, you obviously, you know, the telling the story, and there's, like, dialogue in there and stuff, but you can say other things by just injecting details in there. And the, the film also uh, feels very real in the sense that I got a, I, I got the feeling that um, you could almost smell the characters when they were oh, on the road. You that know was, what I mean? That was the, my point. Yeah. You know, you could smell the cigarettes on them or the beer or the zits. When you're when you're making a film, is that something you have to fight for? I mean, you're working with um, Art and John Linson as producers who have been around for very, Art's been around for a very long time. Yeah. And and you know, sort of the, the the Hollywood thing is to sort of not show all that stuff. Yeah, but they're they you know, I mean, Art comes from the seventies. Uh, mm -hmm. He's made films in the seventies. Yeah, yeah. So um, and but no, they're very kind of uh, supportive, and they really believed in me, and and. Um, you know, everybody kind of agreed that this needed to be um, kind of a real portrayal of that, the raw time, you know. So I didn't get any of that. It was more from, you know, crew people that wanted to walk around with a comb or a brush or something. I'd be like, <laughs> I want bad head, don't touch the hair. So it was more that. It was f fending off the, you know. But, um, yeah, we gave him pimples. We did all that. The girls were all into it, so. Tell me a little bit about casting because um – Dakota Fanning, when you first started writing this, would have been very young. Yeah, She's 15 or she 16 was, now. Yeah, old enough. Yeah. She was probably 13 or yeah. 12 or 13 yeah, when yeah. I started writing this. So by the time I finished and we were ready to cast, you know, it was so exciting that she was interested because, you, I don't know, I just kind of remember seeing her grow up. And uh, hopefully that's added an element of you know, believing what the character was going through and how young she was mm -hmm. um, doing all these things that, you know, almost killed her. 
Well, it's interesting because with her character, I think it's a deceptively simple performance. Um, when I was watching her, I, I liked that she often doesn't seem to be doing anything on screen, but then you look at her eyes and you can really see that there's an inner life there yeah. that, that is kind of hard to fake. You know? Yeah, you know, for me, because these characters were so young and um, young kids, I don't think, go rushing around exposing their feelings. Mm -hmm. They just don't. Yeah, yeah. And you're basically trying to figure yourself out, never mind, expressing yourself. And you don't want to look uncool or you don't want to look exactly. like there's so much there's that goes on lot. with being 15 or 16 there's years old. There's a lot of things that are going on. So for me, it was very important that the girls that I cast for this emoted a lot with their eyes. And hence, I was drawn to the two of them because I think they do a wonderful job at that. Yeah. Now, when you were, uh, well, let's talk about Kristen. You mentioned the two of them, the other one being Kristen Stewart, yes. I guess, what we're talking about here. Um, it's not just that she looks like Joan Jett, because she does look like Joan Jett, but she also, I think, really captures um, a kind of rebelliousness that I always sort of associated with Joan Jett and the Runaways. Yeah, I mean, when I met her, she, she ha kind of has this, like, tough quality and yet vulnerable, shy quality, which is, that's Joan Jett. Yeah. I mean, when you meet her, that's her. And so I, I knew that that, you know, that she would do a great job at that because there is the, 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 the two inside of her, you know. Richard Krause.